I'd like to look more deeply into the 158. Historically, it was always paired with the 156. The 156 control voltage processor was essential to all elements in the original Buchla 100 system. And as you can see, it pairs nicely, and in fact its faceplate, when superimposed, is almost the 158's twin. Like the 158, which has two oscillators, the 156 has two control voltage processors. And these circuits can mix, offset, compress, and invert incoming signals. One of the cool tricks back in the day was to send a sequence to one input jack of the 156 and then send a keyboard voltage to the other. This allowed you to transpose the ongoing sequence. Okay, pretend in this example that the top row is the sequence and the bottom row is the keyboard. Eventually, this circuitry became part of the 200 series, the Buchla 258 waveform generator. The gray input being for keyboard and the black input being an attenuverter acting much like the 156. Let's look at the 158 when it is in internal mode with the switch down. This defeats anything coming in on the 1 volt per octave CV but it does not defeat the frequency modulation CV input. So we have manual control and we can cross modulate. However, this is like playing an old test oscillator. Get a looper and uh, have some fun. Take risks. And of course, rather than cross-modulating, we can um, come out of a sequencer and put CV into the frequency modulation. In the next tutorial, we'll look at the switch in external mode. Thanks for watching.